going on guys? My name is Jed Yeiser. I'm the Ski Product Director here at K2. Here to talk to you about the Disruption TI2. So the, the target customer for this ski is somebody that is spending 100% of their time on groomers and prioritizes high speed carving performance above all else. So we really started working on this ski after discussions with Warner Nickerson and Stefan Stankala, both of whom have pretty impressive World Cup pedigrees and are very involved with us in, in ski development. And we really wanted to build a ski that was going to let them ski uh, the way they used to. You know, this isn't a race ski, but there's, there's so many fond memories that those two guys have of their time racing and the way that a, a race ski will hook up and draw you into the turn and, and do so no matter how fast you're going. And, and that was really the, the, the focus of the ski, was to, to make a ski that was incredibly stable and rewarding carving at high speed and, and allowed those guys to push um, a ski designed for carving on piste um, as hard as they wanted to. So the TI2 uses what we're calling dark matter damping, or DMD. And what DMD does is it really isolates um, and, and removes a lot of the high frequency chatter from skis. And, and the result of that is that you get a lot more edge contact. With that more edge contact, you get more control. And with more control, you get more confidence. So this ski uses our I-beam technology, which really helps us deliver a smooth and consistent flex throughout the whole length of the ski. Given this ski's intentions, we went a step further and each ski actually uses four sheets of tetanol per ski. Um, and, and only one of those layers is, is the I-beam. Tetanol is a material that really gives a ski a really powerful damp and composed feel, especially on, on more groomed or firm surfaces. So while we designed this ski with, with experts and pros in mind, I think for me one of the most surprising things is how forgiving and accessible it is for anybody that wants to make a long radius carved turn. 